Hello. <laughs> Welcome. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna go down a rabbit hole. A fun rabbit hole, but a rabbit hole. We're going to the wonderful, wonderful website of reddit.com. We're gonna go to a tab called Landlords. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Chase, is that a flashlight? I can assure you, it is not. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's hop right into this message. It's from this person's landlord. Their name is Gary. So let's get right into this. Everyone, not sure if you've heard, there will be an emergency broadcast system, EBS, this Wednesday, 2.20p EST. Thank you, Gary. I, I love abbreviations and EBS. <sighs> love it. It seems most don't know. Oh, why would we know? Uh, I have been following this for the last few weeks, and the concern has been brewing about it. I was going to text everyone. Well, it's, you weren't going to. You already did. Uh, thinking to suggest avoiding all communications devices. No cell phones, computer, TV, or even the radio uh, for everyone, especially the COVID vaxxed <laughs> for reasons I can't get into in this message. <laughs> but I'm happy to elaborate the links uh, for any of you who may be wondering. Is someone gonna come get you, Gary? Like, what? <laughs> why can't you get into it? Or <laughs> are you being hushed up by someone? <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> But now I'm learning that even most newer appliances may be at risk. Oh no, not the Instapot. <laughs> they might fry my Instapot. Oh, please no, not, let's not do that. <laughs> uh, but now I'm learning even more appliances uh, may be at risk. Some may cause fires or fry all of the appliances. <sighs> all from an EBS warning. Uh, so, we have decided for not only everybody's safety, but also the safety of all of our multiple appliances we furnish for all of the apartments, to possibly have to replace nearly 100 appliances on Thursday doesn't sound like a risk we're willing to take. <laughs> I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause, but we feel it will be in everyone's best interest for the whole building to be shut down for a brief two hour window on Wednesday. Now think about that. He's going to shut down the building <laughs> because of an EVS warning. <laughs> uh, that's a test, by the way. Let's, let's clarify, it's a test of it. Uh, this is greater than any 24 hour notice or guarantee everyone has in their lease. You know, this is a, or notification that we intend to enter your apartment and shut off your power uh, for this time frame between 1.30 and 2 p.m. Then we will return and restore your power after 4 p.m. So we're gonna shut it off at 1.30. We'll be back after four sometime. Trust us, you don't need power. It's overrated. Uh, frozen items <laughs> will appear fine. You should just leave them in the freezer and leave the freezer closed. It's all a solid block of ice, keeping it nice and cold in there. No worries. Yes, Gary, you were right. You understand how refrigerant works. I can tell. Uh, <laughs> it will be daylight, so there's no need for lights, <laughs> etc. You don't need lights. <laughs> Why do you need lights? <laughs> what? Uh, it is also recommended that you inform others of this situation, okay? There's gonna be an EBS warning, everyone. Make sure you pay attention. For the vaxxed, it may even be fatal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Any of you vaxxed folks, stay away from your cell phone. I highly recommend you not just turn the power off with your cell phone, but turn Wi-Fi and cell reception off. <laughs> Why? What, what does power have to do with it? If it's, being, if it's a message being sent to your cellular phone, 
What does the power in the building have to do with it? I digress. Let's jump back in. Tur don't just turn on airplane mode, then power off your phone. You don't want your cell pinging them back. Okay? I would even wrap the phone in aluminum foil for safe measure. Make sure you wrap it before you tap it. Uh, if, you, if you leave the premises during this time, I would follow the same idea for cell and also stay away from any computer, TV, or radio that may be on. I wouldn't even look at the screens. Light can be turned against us. So not even are we just going, not even is Gary going, hey, you're going to have health concerns. They're trying to hypnotize you. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like any further details or have any questions. And of course, like any tenant, <laughs> they would see this message that they received and immediately respond. <laughs> this person responded with, Gary, I work from home. <laughs> I can't have the power shut down for three hours. What a what a normal request. <laughs> a normal reason why you can't have the power turned off. <laughs> and then Gary responded, if the power went out in the building during a storm, I'm sure you would find a way to cope. <laughs> it's not them coping, Gary. It's the business that pays them to do something. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Uh, acts of God happen. Unfortunately, acts of t do as well. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny. That's not funny. Oh. <laughs> he <I> just keep <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Perhaps you should set up shop elsewhere for those two hours. In other words, get the hell out. <laughs> I'm giving you plenty of time to plan. I might suggest that you do a little research to learn about the concerns. <laughs> yeah, come on. Why? Gary's clearly done his Facebook research. Why, why haven't you? Are you unaware of the concerns? Do you not know that the EBS is trying to use light to hypnotize you? Why aren't you wearing your aluminum foil hat? That'll shield you from the 5G radiation. <laughs> Uh, he continues, I apologize, but it is a grave concern. There are coffee shops in town, etc. Perhaps a friend's house, etc. And then the person, of course, responds with, I can't set up my shop elsewhere. I have multiple devices I need to work off of. And I have, <laughs> I have to be home at the location. <laughs> I just can't get over this. Is, this is someone's real life situation that they have to deal with. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Sorry, boss. I can't, I, can't, I can't be on the call today. I can't join the meeting. Why? My landlord decided we're going to turn off the power <laughs> for three hours to protect ourselves and all of their investment <laughs> appliances <laughs> from the 5G radiation. What a crazy concept. Oh man, I, I don't even know what to say. What, what advice do you give someone in this situation? I mean, it, they can't call anyone. They can't be like, hey, is this the actual owner? The <laughs> Gary, who I, might be the manager, is <laughs> gonna turn off the power. I mean, what happens if you're like an actual, like a medical emergency, or not an emergency, but a, a, someone who has med a medical condition? Like, what if you have to be constantly plugged in? Like, what if you have an oxygen tank that somehow, for some reason, has to be plugged into a wall? <laughs> like, that, that person's just SOL? <laughs> Gary is, Gary's unhinged. And, <laughs> and if any of you have any, re any recommendations for this tenant, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I, I need to know... What, do, what would you do in this situation? If your landlord reached out to you with these types of messages, what, how do you respond? <laughs> I mean, the tenant did a, a good job of not getting upset or frustrated, but like, how could you not be? <laughs> it's such, a, such an outlandish situation. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys watching, and if you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.
perfect.